hello and welcome back to the master civil engineering and in this video we will learn that how to find the skempton's pore pressure coefficients okay from the result of triaxial test this is a really important geotechnical engineering question which has been asked in many civil engineering exams and you should try to learn it i have been given a question which states that in a triaxial test a soil sample was consolidated under a cell pressure of 720 kilopascal and a back pressure of 375 kilopascal thereafter with drainage not allowed the cell pressure was raised to 820 kilopascal resulting in the increased pore water pressure reading of 470 kilopascal the actual load was then increased to give a deviated stress of 575 kilopascal while the cell pressure remained at 820 kilopascal and a pore pressure reading of 665 kilopascal we have to find the pore pressure coefficients a and b first let us define the skempton's uh, pore pressure coefficients that is uh, pore pressure coefficient b and pore pressure coefficient a okay so b this is defined as delta u1 divided by delta sigma 3 this delta u1 this is the change in the pore pressure due to the increase in cell pressure okay uh, this pore pressure coefficient b this is defined as the ratio of change in uh, pore pressure when the cell pressure is increased in the triaxial test and skempton's another pore pressure coefficient which is a bar this is defined as delta u divided by delta sigma 1 minus delta sigma 3 where this delta u this is the change in pore pressure due to an increase in the deviator stress okay so this a bar this is the ratio of change in pore pressure when the deviator stress is increased in the triaxial test this a bar this is itself equal to b cross a okay so these are the two skempton's pore pressure coefficients now let us move back to our question so in our question uh, first in the first step the cell pressure was increased for, from 720 kilopascal to 820 kilopascal and this caused the pore pressure to increase from the value of back pressure of 375 kilopascal to 470 kilopascal therefore the skempton's pore pressure coefficient b which is the ratio of change in pore pressure uh, divided by the change in the uh, cell pressure so change in pore pressure this is 470 minus 375 and change in the cell pressure this is 820 minus 720 which is equal to 0 0.95 so this is the skempton's first pore pressure coefficient b okay which is the ratio of change in cell pressure divided by sorry change in pore pressure when the cell pressure is increased in the triaxial test after that the next pore pressure coefficient okay uh, that is the a bar it is the ratio of change in pore pressure when there is an increase in the deviator stress in the triaxial test so in our question uh, in step second the total major principal stress which was first at a value of 820 kilopascal uh, an actual load was applied to the test which caused the increase in the deviator stress uh, of 575 kilopascal so the total major principal stress changed from 820 kilopascal to 820 plus 575 kilopascal and this increase in deviator stress produced a corresponding increase in the pore pressure from 470 kilopascal to 665 kilopascal so our next uh, pore, uh, pore pressure coefficient which is a bar this is the ratio of change in pore pressure divided by the change in the deviator stress so change in pore pressure uh, final pore pressure was 665 and uh, before it it was 470 kilopascal and the increase in the major principal stress it was 820 plus 575 minus 820 so the value of a bar this is equal to 0 0.34 okay also this a bar this is equal to a cross b we already know the value of b so the value of a this is equal to a bar divided by b a bar this is equal to 0 0.34 and the value of b this is 0 0.95 so the value of a this comes out to be 0 0.36 okay so value of skempton's pore pressure uh, 
coefficient for this test that is value of a is 0 0.36 and value of b is 0 0.95 so this is how you can calculate the value of scampton's pore pressure coefficients from the result of triaxial test okay i hope this solution video was clear and effective and you definitely learn something new if you have some doubts or queries you can write them in the comment box and i will be happy to answer this thanks for watching the master civil engineering and stay tuned